Ethan in New Jersey. Hello, how are you? Good, Fine. how are you? I'm not too bad. I just have a question. Now, I, I have watched the program several times, and, and uh, it seems to me that, uh, it, you know, while you believe it's fair to take one call at a time, you seem to uh, sort of gang up on the callers with a host, a co-host. You have people in the audience who are physicists, biologists like uh, P.G. Myers, and, and, and you have people, comments from the chat rooms that you're reading out of your computers. It's kind of like you're turning the tables against each caller. Would you say that's fair play in a, in a fair discussion? Actually, yes, I yeah. agree that we do that. I mean, they have access to the Internet as well, I assume. Yes, but, but, but while you only take one call at a time, yeah. you, you, it's like two against one. It's like a host and co-host versus caller. That's true. Uh, have you heard any Christian shows lately? Yeah. How many times do they take atheist callers and how do they handle it? They, they, some of them do that. I do admit, but I don't agree with the... the, the I, is what that, percentage is that, is of Christian a, shows even for, take atheist callers? But is that, uh, would you agree that that is a um, productive process? I think it's productive. I, I know uh, it's I'm productive. Willing, I'm, I'm willing to yeah. agree with you that it's maybe a little unfair, but right, that, right, that's uh, the right, way it bias. is sometimes. But it is absolutely bias. productive. Um, is it, what I find uh, is that the caller that calls in is usually not going to be very much impacted by the conversation. Where the impact occurs is other Christians that are watching because they hear the exchange and then they are the ones that end up writing to us and saying, uh, that really made me pause um, when you guys responded to this or that. So, so are you using the callers? Yeah, exactly. To an extent, yeah. You, you, you mean every caller who calls in, whether they're theist or atheist, are actually, uh, quote unquote, being used? Well, you understand, you understand that this, form? okay, wait a minute, you understand that this show has an audience, right? That we are putting this Absolutely. out for. Absolutely. Okay, so yes, everything that is happening here is for the benefit of the audience. I have seen it on YouTube and the you stream, I believe, or the channels. Right. Right. Our primary interest is, is, in, is in making a show that is, uh, first of all, entertaining because we want people to watch, and second of all, uh, serves as effective outreach to atheists, and we don't make a secret of that. Yeah, not at all. I, I, I'm not accusing you of, of making a secret of it, uh -huh. I, but, but you will admit that uh, you, you, your process of um, uh, the show's production is biased yep. toward... Uh, uh, not just uh, uh, in philosophy and uh, and anti theology, but yeah. also I mean, in bear the in mind, process. yeah, bear in mind that atheists generally are having to be pitted against you know dozens of theists in their lives, right? So every atheist that that is like you know coming to us or that is usually viewing the program has a situation where their entire life is biased in a way that is twenty times what you're seeing on the show. So they have to live in a world where they are confronted with you know ninety to one hundred percent of their family being religious and shoving this down their throats and also friends and their community. Do you really get that though? I mean, absolutely do you really yes. get that? Absolutely theists? yes. Yes. I absolutely mean, yes. Uh, it, it has been my experience that people who are theists, a lot of them, uh, uh, just as this is personal, of course, just my experience is I don't, uh, in New Jersey, I don't know how it is in, in Austin, Texas, but here up in New Jersey, what they do is they, 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 uh, they'll go, they'll pray privately, They'll, go, they'll even do it in public in the form of church. Wow, what about right. National Day of Prayer? Have you checked the news have lately? Have you ever heard they of the won't. National Day of Prayer? Yes, I have. How is that I'm private? Not, no, but I mean, the, 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 they, they'll do it publicly in church groups, but they won't go and proselytize toward... They're the, using how, the government how to would endorse you know? a National Day of Prayer. How is that not in t completely invasive? Maybe that might just be a certain denomination that since maybe it's not like the since you happen to be oh evil, but they're uh, but they're they're a very uh, they're a minority. No, uh, there are no, national they're not. day of Baptist prayer church. signs. There are national day of prayer signs that were scattered throughout my neighborhood, where there are like probably a dozen churches within walking distance of where I live. Yeah, and I of feel like you may not, you no, probably, different denominations. You That's probably my point. may not notice this because you are a theist, and so other yeah. theists don't feel the need to jump at you and change your mind because you already agree with them. But I can assure you that if you ask any atheist you may happen to come across in their life who is out about their atheism, 
every single one of them has had dozens of encounters with people who are trying to push their religion on them. I guarantee it. I mean, I'm not talking about the uh, the, uh, uh, the the Mormons or the Jehovah's Witnesses. Neither but, am I. But, nope. But the but the ones who are per, 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 you know of the the one true church, so to speak. The one true church. Which one is, is that? Is that a denomination? Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. It's it's the one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. Oh, course. yeah, because the Catholics aren't pushing their crap on it. Yeah, I've never oh, heard of, oh. like, the, the yeah. Catholic League, Bill Donahue, uh, Bill you know, Donahue. and there's only just constant It's just public stuff relations. It. It, it, it may not so be is this. Effect. There you go. <laughs> but so, so, in other words, you believe in, in, in fighting fire with fire. Sure. Why not? Like if if uh, if um, wait a minute. This is not. I I I'm, I take issue with that because okay. if somebody comes I, to you and it. they start <laughs> and they start um, flame throwing you and you put up a barrier, that's not fire with fire. When I say no, you're not going to burn everybody to a crisp. Not on our watch. That's <laughs> a whole different thing than than fighting fire with fire. That's simply holding the line and saying, no, you don't get to impose this on to people who are not adherents. That's a, that is, to me, not the but same as fighting fire with fire. But, but Tracy, aren't you fighting fire with fire with the, with the process of the show? Like no, because this show is driven. host this, versus no, individual callers? The show is caller-driven. I do not go door-to-door. -door. I do not pr uh, pimp this oh. to people in my private life. I am oh. not the one that is coming, right? Like, people that are calling our show, the lines call in. They don't call out. Right? Anybody can call or not call as they please. We are not Absolutely. shoving this down anybody's throat. We're not missioning right. I'm this. I'm not accusing you of, pro of proselytizing. Well, when you I'm say just fire with fire, of, they of, are no, proselytizing. No, no, I'm saying that we, we, the show's process is the same as, like you said, your enemy's show. Your enemy is theist. No, the because theism. the theist shows that I see don't even have atheists calling in. They're not even geared toward wanting atheists to call in. I turn on my, sh my TV on Sunday morning, and it's just preachers. Well, do you believe 700 that Club, you don't see the atheist atheists? invited callers on, you know, when has Pat Robertson ever invited, you know, had, a, um, had an hour devoted to atheists calling in? If you remember Dr. Walter Martin... Never he, heard of him. He used, to have, no, he used to have the Bible Answer program, and he used to have atheists frequently. So are you saying that these shows uh, screen out atheists? I'm not saying that they do or they don't. No, I'm saying that of all the atheist programs that they are, let's look at the percentage that will take a theist caller, and then let's look at the, at the Christian shows and see how many even invite a dissenting opinion. The, I'm not sure if they, I mean, uh, my church, the, the well, I know the Catholic Church invites dissenting opinion. I'm talking uh, about when I look at religious programming. When I turn on 700 Club, when I turn on one of the 27 religious channels on my DISH network, do I see them saying, hey, we'd really love for atheists to call in. Call in and we'll give you priority. No, that show doesn't money. happen. That, that's the 700 Club. That's, that's not, that they're taking money. Yeah, they do take money, God. I agree. They're hiding behind God. And yeah, the Catholic Church is poor? They're not taking money, right? The Catholic Church is no, like uh, it's in poverty. It's, it's, they don't. They don't encourage like like the members have Peter's Pence, which goes to the Vatican. But you, uh, neither are you obligated nor are you encouraged. Unlike these, like there's no Peter's Pence show as opposed to the Seven Hundred Club show. Or um, the Catholic Billy Church Graham is person. fabulously wealthy, and they didn't get that way through you know hard work. Um, <laughs> this is like all from adherents sending in money. Okay. Nice talking to you. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs>